All right, so one type of the data is some symbolic data, so um, uh, both function uh, handles uh, and um, the symbolic variables created by the symbolic toolbox. So there is MATLAB comes with toolboxes. <coughs> one of the toolboxes is symbol symbolic um, uh, symbolic uh, toolboxes. Uh, um, um, so and it allows you to store symbolic arrays all right so uh, function handles uh, were described in the uh, you know uh, before uh, and symbolic toolbox will be uh, explained later uh, so the symbolic toolbox uses symbolic data to perform symbolic algebraic calculations all of you write equations right so you could like solve symbolic equations with MATLAB so simply to create to create a, a symbolic uh, 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 symbolic uh, variable, uh, let's call it x for example. All you have to say use um, uh, a function uh, uh, sym_sims sims and x. This will create uh, as uh, a symbolic variable. As you see in here, symbolic variable in here. It's one by one, and the size is eight. Um, and the value is one by one is a symbolic uh, value. Uh, this symbolic variables can be combined to create the symbolic equations. Yeah, so for example, let's create uh, and look at the symbolic icon. It changed. It's like a like a cube. All right. Uh, you could create a symbolic equation. Uh, you could solve it. You know somehow. So S now is a symbolic equation. So this is symbolic variable called X, and this is symbolic equation uh, S, um, which is the S. Well, the storage requirement uh, of a symbolic object depends on, on how large the object is. Um, you know, uh, so, uh, uh, you know, um, S as you see in here it's one times one S is one times one array uh, subsequent symbolic objects could be grouped together into an array or mathematic ma uh, mathemat mathematical uh, mathematical uh, uh, expressions um, and the symbolic variable icon uh, shown as you see in here like a cube so this is you'll use it more when you go up to the toolbox symbolic toolbox for solving uh, symbolic equations.